Welcome, you're tuned into Tangled Threads. If you're digging our content, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. I don't really know where to start, but I need advice. Badly. Three years ago, I met Phoenix. We had an instant connection, and our relationship just... worked. We've been married for a year now, and it's been pretty amazing. He's caring, funny, and has been a rock for me through some tough times. But a recent twist of fate has me feeling like I'm living a nightmare. Before I met Phoenix, I was with Sam for two years. Sam and I had this passionate, all-consuming love that felt like it was pulled straight out of a rom-com. But things didn't work out. He decided to join the army, and the idea of a long-distance relationship just wasn't sustainable for us. We ended on good terms, but decided to cut contact to help each other move on. It was painful, but over time, the hurt faded. Fast forward to last week. I was doing my regular grocery shopping when I turned the aisle and bam, there he was, Sam. He looked different, but in a good way. More mature, a bit more rugged, but his eyes were the same, deep and familiar. We were both taken aback. Apparently, he had completed his service and moved back to town. Fast forward to last week. I was at our local grocery store, scanning the cereal aisle, debating between granola or oat clusters, when I heard a familiar voice behind me. Jesse, is that you? I froze for a split second and slowly turned around. There he was, Sam. He looked different, but in a good way. More mature, a bit more rugged, but those eyes, the same deep, familiar eyes I once got lost in. Sam, wow, I wasn't expecting to see you here. I stammered, feeling my cheeks redden. He chuckled running his fingers through his hair, a nervous habit he always had. I could say the same. I just got back to town a few days ago. The army changes a person, but serial dilemmas? They never change. I laughed, the tension easing slightly. Well, some things never change, I guess. We both fell into a comfortable silence for a moment, just taking each other in. You look good, Jesse, he finally said, his gaze softening. Thanks. You do too, I replied, trying to find the right words. So, you're done with the army? He nodded. Yeah, finished my service, decided to come back home, see familiar faces, and, well, figure out my next steps. We continued chatting, catching up on family, life, mutual friends, everything that had happened in our time apart. The more we talked, the more the years seemed to melt away. When he asked if I wanted to grab a coffee to continue catching up, it just felt natural to say yes. We moved from the store to a nearby coffee shop, and the conversation flowed effortlessly. As the hours passed, the walls I had put up after our breakup began to crumble. The feelings, the memories, the connection. It was all still there, just beneath the surface. And in that moment of vulnerability, I made a decision I now regret. I went with him back to his place. The feelings, the attraction, the history, it was all there. And well, I made a terrible mistake. I slept with him. The moment it was over, a wave of guilt washed over me. What had I done? Phoenix is my husband. He's been nothing but kind, loving, and loyal to me. I left Sam's house immediately and just drove around for hours, crying and trying to process what had happened. Sam texted me the next day, apologizing for what happened. He said he still had feelings for me, but knew it wasn't right. He suggested it would be best if we kept our distance. I agreed. But now, every time I look at Phoenix, guilt gnaws at me. He knows something's off. I've been distant and distracted. Last night he sat me down, holding my hands, and asked me if everything was okay. I wanted to blurt out the truth, but I couldn't. Instead, I lied, telling him it was just stress from work. I've been asking myself, should I confess? Phoenix deserves to know, right? But then again, would telling him just hurt him more? Is it better to carry this burden myself? I can't eat or sleep, and every time Phoenix touches me, I feel like the biggest fraud. I love my husband, I truly do, but this mistake feels like it's overshadowed everything good in our relationship. So, Reddit, I need advice. Do I come clean about my mistake, or do I keep it to myself and hope the guilt fades over time? Update, hey everyone, first, I wanted to thank everyone for the advice and kind words after my last post. It was such a tough time for me, and this community was genuinely supportive. 
I wanted to provide an update for those who were wondering what happened. After reading all of your comments and reflecting a lot, I chose not to tell Phoenix about that one-night mistake with Sam. I know many of you might not agree, but here's why I think it was the right decision for us. Sam and I decided to keep our distance after that night. We recognized that what happened it wasn't just about old feelings. It was also about nostalgia and getting caught up in the past. We both acknowledged that our paths had diverged for a reason, and we genuinely wished each other the best. Sam's moved on now, and so have I. Not telling Phoenix was not about avoiding the consequences or living a lie. I chose not to, because I didn't want to hurt him over a mistake that meant nothing in the larger scope of our relationship. I took this as a lesson to introspect and understand why it happened and ensure it never occurs again. The guilt was a heavy burden, and I started therapy to work through my emotions and feelings about the whole ordeal. Months have passed, and my relationship with Phoenix has grown stronger. We've been connecting on deeper levels, spending quality time together, and just appreciating each other more. Every day I'm grateful for him and the life we're building. Telling him would have caused unnecessary pain, and I'm confident that keeping it to myself was the right choice for our unique situation. The guilt doesn't eat at me like it used to. Instead, it served as a stark reminder of the lines I should never cross and the value of the love I have with Phoenix. Sometimes, mistakes are not there to destroy us, but to teach us a lesson and remind us of what's truly important. Thank you again for the support. Everyone's journey and relationship are unique, and I'm just trying to do my best. Update 2. Hey again, it's Jesse. I wasn't sure if I'd ever come back to this thread, especially after my last update, but here I am. I feel like I owe an explanation to everyone who's followed my story and supported me through the ups and downs. A few weeks after my last post, everything seemed to be getting better. Phoenix and I were in a good place, and the weight of my secret had started to feel less heavy. However, life has a way of turning your world upside down when you least expect it. Out of the blue, Phoenix received an anonymous email. It contained everything. Everything about that night with Sam, our history, and my guilt. I didn't know who sent it until Phoenix confronted me, showing me the screenshots of a conversation I had with Sam, expressing my remorse and guilt. Heartbroken, devastated, and in disbelief, Phoenix demanded an explanation. I had no choice but to come clean. I told him everything, from the accidental meeting with Sam at the store to the decision of not telling him the truth. Phoenix was crushed. I could see the hurt and betrayal in his eyes. He asked for space, and I gave it to him. It was the hardest few days of my life, not knowing if our relationship could survive this. Later, I found out it was Sam who'd sent the email. He'd recently learned through mutual friends that I was married. Enraged that I'd used him while keeping my marriage a secret, he felt Phoenix had a right to know. Part of me understands his anger and sense of betrayal, but part of me wishes he'd confronted me first. The past few weeks have been a whirlwind of emotions. Phoenix and I started couples therapy, trying to rebuild trust and understanding. Every day is a challenge. There are moments of pain, anger, sadness, but also moments of hope. I won't lie, things aren't the same. The trust we had is shattered, and we're both trying to pick up the pieces. Some days are better than others. Phoenix is trying to forgive, but it's a process, and I've come to accept that it might take a long time, or it might never fully heal. I've learned the hard way that some secrets don't stay buried, and the consequences of one night can change everything. If there's any advice I can give after going through all of this, it's to be honest with your partner, no matter how hard it is. The pain of the truth might be intense, but the damage from a lie uncovered is so much worse. Day by day, week by week, my trust in people dwindles away. I mean, what was she thinking posting this? That people would agree with her? I hope not. Anyways, what do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threads.